Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason with Wyatt and Sons Construction. I got my guy. I'm Jake Martin. In today's video, I'm gonna be building these corners. So I'm gonna show you everything about how to lay out your distances on the footers, your, find your heights on your existing foundation. Line snapped, corners ready to go. So I know this corner is tens and over here is eights. So I'm gonna mark my uh, footer out mark my heights on my foundation over there all right so i got a hundred footer easier with these ones they're just black so on that four that's a number eight uh, 28 foot this is a red number on the tape so i can run whole block this way so all i do is i hold it tight you good jake Everywhere there's this black number, that's a bond mark. The way I just know I'm staying on bond. Luckily in this wall, I'll have no pieces. I'm gonna go mark the bond out on this wall over here too. These are my favorite leads because they're not corners. They're gonna be real easy. Just one straight lead. You good, Jake? Same thing, I just, black number, black number, red number, you tight? Yep. Black number. Bond is laid out. So I am married to this height here, so I have no choice but to match it. So I gotta go to the top of the foundation here. You always measure down. When you're given an existing building or something and you gotta match it, always measure down from the top. Don't come up down so I just go in here find the top mark 8 16 all 8 inch increments so I'm gonna go do the same thing over there and on the other corners bowed out of stuff to do till our block shows up got six pieces of rebar three each side I drilled the holes already got mud all I need is a trowel striker levels got my trowel Hammer levels. Now, I know my first block, I have a rebar right here. So if you ever see my other videos on how to build a block corner, this is how you make make space for rebar. Just boop. Yes. I know I'm coming up six courses, and whenever you do that, you do uh, six on the bottom if you're doing a corner. Well, I'm not doing that, so I only have to do half. I'm not doing a full corner. So I only have to come out three block board, put on half of it, flick right along my line. Just like this, half my trowel, flick. I have my bond marks made up, so I have one, two. I only have to come out to here. Make sure you're not covering them, very important. Don't do what I just did. That's all the further I gotta come out. It's spread very nicely. Now it's time to head your block into your wall. In, out, in, out. One day you'll be as good as me. Flicking your trowel around, Jakey. Lay it right on your line, right into your corner. Make sure you're tight. Last block for this row. Right on the line. Oop, there's a chunker under there. Watch out for those. Right on the line. Right on your bond mark. Okay, now I gotta clean up my mud. Alright, just scrape this up. Don't have to reuse that mud. Don't waste it. I don't want Jake to have to work that hard. Right, Jake? Right. Right. This side. Alright, come over here. Very important. Do not mess your line up. So I take the tip of my trowel and I slice on an angle and it breaks it off. And I just scoop it up very gently. When you do that, nothing happens to your line. You know our heights pretty much go over here I know you're not supposed to be on your level I don't care now that you got your uh, your level to your line mark just make sure you're level across next grab your hammer your two foot level put it right on your web right here tap it tap it plumb whatever side this bubble is touching that's the side you tap down. Look here. See this? 
my bubble's riding this side of my level. So I tap the same side of my block. Makes it level, see that? Very easy, I know I have to match up to this corner. It's already there, just a little bit out. Right on the corner. I know I gotta be right on this line. Right on this line. Three blocks make four feet. That's what my level is. Corner to corner block. Here, here, my most important points. I'm not touching. Nice. Everything is nice and straight. And I like to tail it off like this, so all I do is keep it nice and flush to my block. Go out here, a little off. Right there is perfect. All right. First course done. Don't forget your hardware. That. Time for the second course. I just gotta spread your mud. Now, big scoops, right? As much as you can, slap it. Find your nose, slice. Find your nose, slice. All right, set that second course. Turn your trowel so almost sideways, that way you don't dirty the face. Always, always reuse that mud. Do not be as, all right, same thing. Level over to your pipe line. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now you plumb. Good, chase down one side. Match that bottom up real good. Tap over. Very nice. And I can actually get my level in to my foundation there. So I don't have to chase down that side. Over here. Bump out. Done. All right. Clean up everything and throw it down that rebar head joint over here. Forget your hardware. It's pretty easy to do. Bend these in. That way nobody gets stabbed in the eyes. Hold this here. You know where to cut it. You want it to overhang into your step lead. That way the people running your walls do not forget to put it in either. You don't want it to be in the way of their uh, line bones though. So I keep it right in that web there. Same thing. Bend these in. This out of the way. Bend these in. All right. Third course is set. I got my rebar holes there. And you do the same thing all the way up. You just level this part. You make sure your level hits this height mark over here. Plum. Already good. Already good. Don't get your level messy. Always match up your head joints. And then chase back to your foundation. Make sure it's clean now. I have a space here. Tap them in. Same thing all the way up every time. If you want more information on how to build leads and corners, I have two other videos. I'll put them in the suggested up here or whatever side it's on. You can go check them out. Done with that lead. Jake's gonna strike it up for me. Taking the mud over to the other straight lead over there. So same exact thing as the other side. First course done over here. Now I just gotta drill. About halfway up this lead and I'm married to the height that the lead that I did over there. So I'm gonna go check the third course on that lead to this one. So we'll see how I'm running. I gotta come down a little bit. This outside corner is done. Perfect height to that. 
onto this corner. All right, Jake Martin striking up this lead. Outside corners are established. Start in this 10 inch corner. First course is done. Hardware in. Three rebars here. I have a jam here. This is gonna be a ba uh, entrance into the basement. I know I have a porch wall here. So I got these fancy uh, S hook looking bars. I'm gonna let them hang out over like that. That way I can tie right into that. And I don't have to drill pins when this sets up. I got a lead there and a lead there. So if you see, I hooked up a string line and I have to lay this one right to the string line and it gives me my height over here. You can't see because it's really dark, but uh, all my leads are done. I'll take a pic or a video in the morning. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. This is what all my leads look like. I'm all done with my beeper transit, levels, all that stuff. Next video, we'll be putting these walls up. So I'll show you how to do that next time if you wanna learn more about blocks.